Hi everyone, Liam here. It seems my original guide for modding Stardew Valley on the Steam Deck got a little bit outdated, as the fixes I previously noted are no longer needed, so here's a fresh guide to get it sorted. First up, make sure it's installed, obviously. Then, head down into desktop mode by pressing the Steam button, going to power, and switch to desktop. From here, load up your favourite web browser and go to smappy.io. And to get the keyboard to actually come up in desktop mode, just remember it's Steam and X. And on here, there is a big helpful download button, and we'll just do a direct download. Next thing is to load up the Dolphin file manager and to go into your downloads folder. Inside here, open and extract the Smappy zip file into your downloads. And once that's done, go into the Smappy folder. The next thing you need to open up is the terminal app called Console. You can just search for Console or Terminal in the Plasma Desktop menu in the bottom left corner using the search bar. Again, you can bring up the on-screen keyboard with Steam and X. Then you can simply drag over the install on linux.sh file into the terminal app. Here I'm doing it with the on-screen keyboard, just following the prompts that come up in the terminal, following it exactly as it says. However, if you get stuck here and it can't automatically find the installed path, there is a way to do it. In Steam, you can open the properties on Stardew Valley and go to local files, or it may say installed files on a later SteamOS version, and hit browse. In the file manager, up the top, just go backwards once, and then right click on the Stardew Valley folder and select copy location. Now you'll have it ready to just paste into the terminal app, where you can again just follow the instructions. You might need a keyboard for that bit though, as the on-screen keyboard paste button doesn't work in terminal because that uses Control, Shift and V for pasting in text. To actually get mods, you can simply look them up on somewhere like Nexus Mods, but you'll need to be registered and logged in to download. For this example, I'm going to use the Skip Fishing minigame, and you just download it in the Files tab on the Mod page, and then in your Downloads folder, extract the downloaded mod and then you can just copy it over to the mods folder inside where Stardew Valley is installed. And that's it. After that, you're good to go. You can just go and then launch Stardew Valley and enjoy your modded experience. Some mods do depend on other mods, so be sure to look at the mod page carefully. And depending on how many mods you actually have, it may take a while for the game to load, but you'll know it's working if you see the smappy white terminal before the game appears. For me, simple additions like the skip fishing minigame just make all the difference. It really annoys me. I'm so bad at it. I miss it every time. But it's such a simple example, of course, just to get you going. And considering that Stardew Valley is still as popular as ever, and there's a 1.6 update on the way, hopefully this updated guide will just get you going. And seriously, Stardew Valley is a game that just feels like it was simply made to be played on the Steam Deck. It is wonderful. That's it for this video though, it really is that simple. See you later.